Okay, this is the first time we're going to try to do this and put it on YouTube. <clears throat> but uh, what I'd like to do today is I'd like to talk about logging into uh, Jocelyn's Yearbook Avenue and some of the things that you can look at while you're there just before you even get started on uh, doing your yearbook page or after you've gotten started. I don't know if you've actually had a chance to explore. So let's just uh, go in right now and. Um, Easiest way is Yearbook Avenue, which you can see I've already got it right there. And I think they've defaulted now to 2013. It used to be that it would default to 2012, but now you don't have to worry about that. Our job number again is 312729. I'm sorry. I'm getting already. And then your login. My login is Mr. J. And I've created a login that's a, a staff login so that I have as much right here as you do. So you won't, you won't see me doing things that you can't do. Okay, now the first thing that you get when you look uh, at your screen when, once you get in is, <clears throat> well, first of all, you see the coverage. This is going to be important here later on when uh, we do, uh, let's see, there we go when we start adding names and tagging pictures and <clears throat> I'll talk about that later on but uh, what we're going to be doing is for every photograph every person in the photograph we're going to identify and it won't be as hard as it sounds uh, because we'll have the mugshots to work with and we'll have all the names right there so we just find the student and there's also in Jocelyn software something it's face recognition it's not perfect but it does a pretty good job so uh, what we want to do is make sure that everybody get everybody who's in a picture is is put uh, is named because that goes into the index and the index is generated automatically. The calendar doesn't have anything on it yet, but it will. It'll have our deadlines. It'll have the times that we have to send <laughs> Justin's money for the yearbooks and so forth, and so on. And I guess messages here. I haven't got any messages because I just created this login, but. Uh, who knows? All right, now the other thing you can look at right here is the gallery. Now you have all kinds of choices of galleries, so notice that this one is just one of many. Okay, so I can go to this one right here, and you just click on Go to Gallery. And I think this is really important. I think everybody should take a look at these these galleries just just to get ideas. Um, I noticed that people have started out, and I'll talk a little bit more about this later but I've noticed that people have started out by just kind of putting in shapes and so forth and that's fine because you need to get used to using using the uh, software but I would really recommend using something that is like one of these and these are these these all come from templates or they are templates that you can actually steal you can see it right here where it says add to my template so if I think hmm, maybe I want to do this one maybe I do it looks like actually I like it so I'm going to click on that and go add to my templates. Template was added. Okay. And we'll get to that at a future time. Let me see if I can find a couple of others. So if I just move this a little bit, find something else that I like. That looks good. Add to my templates. Now this is not gonna this is not gonna change what you already have, but it's gonna be in the my template section, which which we'll get to in a little bit. Okay, you have up here your menu bar, and of course, plan gives you your page ladder, uh, but it also gives you other things that you can look at. Uh, we're going to talk about covers. We don't necessarily have to do the cover uh, contest, although most people probably would want to do that. Theme ideas, we have to think about a theme, so if you want to look at that, and maybe you can come up with some ideas for a theme. Last year's theme was look at us now. Uh, let's see, uh, studio covers and so forth. So just, you know, you can check that out. <clears throat> uh, right here in the Stay Organized, there's just planning tips and things like that that you can look at. Um, a ladder chart. This is, this is more, probably more for me, but you know, look at it and if it, if you find something useful, use it. Now we have Page Designer, which again goes back to this thing that we were at before. Oh, this is the ladder. Um, 
that goes right to your, well, it should go right to your page, but it's not, this is not my page, but if you go to page ladder, and look, I added names right here, so everybody's name should be there. And if I go down here somewhere, in here is my name, except that I didn't save it, so, but there's mine, 26 and 27. Although it's not saved as me, I'm not going to work on it right now. Um, sell, plan and promote. We're gonna we're gonna be selling yearbooks, so but we're not going to worry about that right at the moment. But uh, that is part of the deal is that we we have to actually sell what we create. So take a look at that if you get a chance. Uh, design ideas, tools, and so forth. These are all things that you might want to just kind of pop in on. And right here is where the information is, so you can click here on. Take a look at different things. Doesn't look like this works. Oh, there we go. Okay, so you can take a look at other designs. You can see the colors, how people have done things. Again, most of these are templates. They're not, they weren't just randomly thrown together. Uh, it's much easier to start with a template. And again, we will talk about that later on. And if you want to get out of this, click the back key. And showcase. <clears throat> showcase allows you to have look at the, the yearbook that we've got so far virtually. So we can you can just turn the page like that. There we go. So we can see some some people's you can see it what the pages look like, how they would look in the yearbook. Okay. So that's what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to just take some time and explore <clears throat> the software that we have and see. You know, see what it's got to offer. There might be some things in there that uh, will be useful to you. There are more than likely things that are going to be useful to you. And later on, I'm going to talk to you about page design.